Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining us all today. I'm Dr. Tahir from Family Pediatrics. And today we have Bella here and we have mom Kendra and cute little Luca. Luca is just about one year old and uh, he had to start antibiotics about a week ago, amoxicillin for an illness that he had and he developed a rash on his body that parents are concerned about and they're bringing him in for. So I'm going to show you what that rash looks like um, so you guys learn how to identify what that is because you might be seeing that on your kids. And uh, Kendra, I want to thank you very much for having us do this video so we can help other parents, okay? Yeah. So let's take a look at this rash. Why don't you go ahead and zoom in right over here with uh, Luca and you notice on Luca's arms. Come here, sweetheart. You notice on Luca's arms, he's got red bumps on his arms right over here. If you feel them, they are a little bumpy and raised. And you notice if I press my, pass my finger over it, they blanch. See, they blanch like skin color and get back red again. You notice that? These also. When a skin rash, a red skin rash like this blanches and it's a little bumpy like that, these are hives. And um, it's sometimes uh, with allergic reactions, hives are very common. You see these hives right here? And he's also got some on his face. And then let's check out his tummy. He's got a lot on his tummy also. And if you look at his tummy, same thing. He's got red bumps. And if I pass my finger, they blanch. They also feel a little warm to touch. And that's because the skin is getting more blood on these areas and that's what's making it warmer feeling too, okay? Now, you can, why don't you go ahead and hold him, Kendra? Go ahead and zoom out a little bit. We can put his shirt back on again. So, you notice how Luca is looking. He is nice and happy and he is looking around and he doesn't look like he's disturbed at all. And what's nice is that these hives aren't really bothering him as much as they are bothering us, yeah. all right? So thankfully, he's not very itchy either. Sometimes he can be very itchy. And I'll be having parents give him some Benadryl to help this allergic reaction. When you look at the hive, sometimes they can change right in front of your eyes. So if you're looking at his tummy, for example, we notice some redness here, but later on, the redness might be at a different spot. They might change right in front of your eyes sometimes, and it looks very scary. But he'll look fine, and you'll be like, why is he looking so good with all this rash going on? So you'll notice that. Also, if he is angry or crying, you'll notice a change in his rash if he takes a bath, and the water temperature will make his rash change also. So expect the rash to change, okay? With a reaction to the antibiotic, this reaction may go on for a week or more, even though we stop the antibiotic. Now, what's really important is that with an antibiotic allergy, uh, like amoxicillin, for example, it's a lifetime allergy. So from now on ever, um, Kendra, you'll want to remember that he cannot get amoxicillin or penicillin anymore. And there's other medications also that have that in there. So as long as you tell the doctor uh, and your pharmacy that is allergic to penicillin, it'll cover all the different kinds of medications we have to avoid for him. Okay. What's risky about penicillin allergy is that penicillin is one of the most commonly used antibiotics by doctors. So even though we're going to document that he is uh, allergic to penicillin, and I want you to tell the pharmacist wherever you go he's allergic to penicillin, because it's so common, there's still a risk for a doctor or a pharmacy to give you medicine with penicillin. Okay. So I'll want you to be watchful of that, um, to basically just double check before any antibiotic that let the doctor know, pharmacist know, hey, he's allergic to penicillin. Okay. And he looks like he likes the ID <laughs> here, and you might have to get a new toy for yeah. him. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, you guys, for joining us today. And thank you to Kendra and to... Um, Bella for helping us, and Bella is listening to my back with a stethoscope. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you so much. Thank you.